Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd like to talk to you today about this upcoming City of Fort Worth project. My name is Greg Robbins and I am one of the project managers in the Transportation and Public Works Department's Capital Delivery Team. And I'll be the construction project manager for the upcoming Clover Lane and West Will Rogers Street reconstruction project. This presentation was originally meant to be given at an in-person community meeting with all affected residents and other citizens who utilize these streets. However, due to the city's proactive response to the current coronavirus outbreak, that meeting has been canceled and this presentation has been recorded in lieu of the actual meeting. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your neighborhood and give you a little bit of a heads up about what to expect with the upcoming construction. Here is the agenda of what I hope to convey in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, reviewing the scope of work, and providing you with information on the phasing and schedule of the construction. The limits of this project include Clover Lane from Birchman Avenue to Camp Bowie Boulevard, as well as West Will Rogers Road from Camp Bowie Boulevard to Lancaster Avenue. These streets are part of a group of projects that are being funded by the 2018 bond, which was voted on by the residents of Fort Worth in May of 2018. For both of these streets, we will be performing a full depth reconstruction, which means that the streets are to be fully demoed, the underground utilities upgraded, and then repaved with new concrete streets. Clover Lane and West Will Rogers Road were chosen for reconstruction due to the current condition of their pavement and the need to replace the underground utilities. In this slide, you can see a picture of the current state of Clover Lane on the left, showing the asphalt overlay of the street in poor condition. On the right is an example of a new concrete street with sidewalks and driveways. The final product for both Clover Lane and West Will Rogers Road won't look exactly like this, but you can expect something similar with the final product. For Clover Lane, you can see that we will be performing a full replacement of not only the pavement and underlying subgrade, but most of the underground utilities as well. The contractor will be replacing the existing water, sewer, and storm drain pipes before placing the new concrete pavement. The water and sewer service connections to businesses and residences will also be replaced. In addition, we will also be constructing new sidewalks and ADA wheelchair ramps, as well as installing some better pedestrian access facilities at the intersection of Camp Bowie Boulevard. West Will Rogers Road will be repaved with concrete pavement, as well as reconstructing the existing sidewalk on the east side of the road. No utility work will be performed on this street. Before I go over information related to the construction phasing and schedule, I wanted to provide some background information on our requirements and constraints that the city and the selected contractor, McClendon Construction Company, has tried to incorporate into their plans. The big limiting factor for our construction is the presence of two schools on Clover Lane, South High Mount and Stripling Middle School. Due to the large amount of traffic during drop-off and pickup times, we have met with school faculty and decided together that the contractor will not be performing construction activities within the two block zone in front of Stripling Middle School from Bryce to Linden while school is in session. We hope that by limiting work in this zone to only the summer months, we will have the least amount of impact on student pickup and drop off as possible and lessen our interference with school children walking to and from school. The safety of children and other pedestrians who walk along and across Clover Lane are of utmost importance, and the contractor is committed to ensuring that safe, clearly marked pedestrian crossings are available at all times, and that advanced warnings are provided whenever a sidewalk or crosswalk is closed. This slide shows our expected phasing and schedule for the construction. At first glance, the construction phasing and schedule may seem complicated and appear that we are jumping around. But be assured, there is a reason for the construction moving from place to place. And this is because of, number one, the schools in the area and the adverse impact that construction has on drop-off and pickup of students. And two, the need to complete underground utility work prior to beginning paving activities. The first location for construction will be the intersection of El Campo and Bell Place. We are realigning the storm drain pipes in El Campo, which then extends into the intersection of Bell Place. Because Bell Place will be an alternative route for north-south traffic during the entire construction process, it is important that we complete the work in the intersection first before other work in Clover Lane begins. 
On Clover Lane, the first section of construction will be on the south end of the project limits between Birchman Avenue and Linden Avenue, indicated by the blue highlighting. The contractor will begin by placing the water pipe in this section as it is imperative that the connection can be made at this time with the new water pipe that is being placed in section two and can be pressure tested. For all utility construction, temporary asphalt pavement repairs will be completed so as to have a drivable surface while awaiting the final concrete pavement to be placed. When school dismisses for summer break this year, the contractor will begin installing all underground utilities within the limits of section two in front of the school indicated by the red highlighting in earnest to finish all the construction activities in the three months before school resumes in August. After this coming summer, the contractor will move back to section one to finish all other underground utilities, including any remaining sanitary and storm sewer. Since the contractor will have a paving crew and utility work crew available, underground utility work will begin on segment three, indicated by the green highlighting concurrently with the paving work on section one. This work will last until the spring of 2021. When the school once again dismisses for summer break in 2021, the contractor will return to section two to complete the pavement in front of the school, finishing this work prior to the school's start in August of 2021. When the utility work on section three is completed, the paving work will immediately commence, lasting through the end of the project in the fall of 2021. It is important to note that just because a section is shown to be under construction at a given time, this does not mean that the entire section will be closed to all access. It is just an indication of the construction limits in which the contractor will be working during that time frame. It is not the city's or the contractor's intention to ever completely close Clover Lane to traffic. In all phases of construction, the street will remain open to traffic in at least one lane. However, in order to lessen the construction's impact, it is suggested that all residents and others who use Clover Lane seek alternative routes while Clover Lane is under construction, especially for north-south travel. A traffic control firm has provided the contractor with a specialized traffic control plan for use during the upcoming construction. This plan will provide for the safe and efficient routing of traffic in order to limit the impact on those who either live in the area or use Clover Lane regularly. Although previously mentioned as a possibility, changing Clover Lane to a southbound one-way street during school pickup and drop-off was determined to not be feasible while Clover Lane is under construction. It is important that we minimize changes to the existing traffic patterns in order to eliminate confusion that could come from changing the direction of flow several times during construction. The traffic control for the majority of the project is considered rolling traffic control because it moves along with the work being performed. Most of the time, only a few hundred feet of Clover Lane will be under construction. During utility excavation and construction, half of the street will be closed while the other half will allow traffic to pass, either with enough space for two-way traffic or with the assistance of a flagger. During concrete pavement placement, half of the street will be closed while the concrete is placed and allowed to cure. For those residents that live in a home with a driveway facing Clover Lane, this unfortunately means that you will not be able to access your driveway for approximately one week. You will also not be able to use your driveway when it is being reconstructed. You will be notified in advance by the contractor when to expect these disruptions. For those that regularly use or cross Clover Lane, please be aware that there will be times when your preferred route is disrupted during construction. The contractor will provide adequate signage to indicate when a lane or intersection is closed that will allow you to seek an alternative route. I would now like to discuss a topic that has been asked about frequently during the previous community meetings. Several residents of this neighborhood have requested that speed studies and stop sign studies be performed on Clover Lane. A study was performed in September and November of this past year by our traffic management department. The results indicate that by and large, most drivers travel within one to two miles of the posted speed limit. The speed limit for residential collectors is 30 miles per hour. The 85th percentile driver shown in the table is an indicator used in engineering practice to determine things like speed limits. If you imagine 100 people driving on Clover Lane, the data collected as part of these studies indicate that 85 of them drove within a few miles per hour of the speed limit or slower. Based on the data collected, no changes to the speed limit 
stop signs, or other traffic calming measures will be implemented at this time. Another common request was that our traffic management department look into making Clover a one-way street during school drop-off and pickup. This study was also completed this month and it was determined that the amount of northbound traffic combined with the confusion of changing the traffic flow several times a day did not make this a feasible option. I would like to finish this presentation by presenting some frequently asked questions regarding this construction project and providing answers. Will I still have access to my driveway during construction? For the most part, yes, access to your driveway will only be restricted when concrete is being placed in the street in front of your house or when your driveway is being reconstructed. You will be given notice by the contractor and the city when these construction activities can be expected. Will I lose water to my property? While the water pipe is being replaced along Clover Lane, you will be placed on temporary water service. There will be a short disruption in service while the water line is switched over. Once again, you will be notified prior to the switch so that you can plan for it. How will my water bill be calculated while on temporary service? You will pay the average monthly amount based on the previous year. Will Clover Lane be closed during construction? No, Clover Lane will not be completely closed during any construction phase. However, there will be times when access along Clover Lane or through intersections will be restricted. The contractor and the city will do their best to provide adequate information regarding the schedule and location of construction activities so that you can identify how you will be affected. I have heard that more streets in Arlington Heights are slated for construction. How will this impact us? Several other streets in the Arlington Heights neighborhood are included in other projects also associated with the 2018 bond. That project has been postponed to a time when Clover Lane is not under construction. Many streets included in that project are ideal alternative routes for north-south travel while Clover Lane is under construction. It would be best for all residents if that project began at a time when it would not cause traffic control conflicts with Clover Lane. How long will the project take? The total contract time is 550 calendar days. This length of time is needed in order to allow the contractor to limit construction in front of Stripling Middle School while school is in session. How wide will my driveway be? We will be matching existing driveway widths unless they are currently less than 11 feet wide. How will Stripling Middle School pickup and drop off be impacted by construction? The city has made an effort to create the least impact possible on school pickup and drop off. It is for this reason that we will not be working near the school while it is in session. While it is not possible to completely eliminate the impact of construction on these times of heavy traffic, we hope that by limiting work near the school, we can mitigate the impact as much as possible. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen and watch. It is unfortunate that I was not able to meet all of you in person due to public health concerns and discuss any comments or questions that you may have, but I would still like to hear from you. My phone number and email address are provided here. Please feel free to contact me if you so choose. Finally, the contact information for the city's construction inspector is listed. He will be your first point of contact for all questions and concerns you may have during construction. Thank you once again. I appreciate your patience with us as we move through the construction process and I look forward to hearing from you.